Thanks to a generous birthday gift, I ended up with a dedicated macro lens much sooner than I expected. I also received a flash and a diffuser. And I've been having a blast photographing bugs. I've become particularly obsessed with jagged ambush bugs. They're so small, a half inch or less. I didn't notice them until I began spending more time on macro photography. I had never even heard of them before, though I suspect they've been in my flowers every summer. At first I had a hard time making out where the eyes were, or even which end was the head. But once I saw the close-up photos, I was amazed. They remind me of a praying mantis, but much more squat and compact and, as their common name suggests, jagged. I've probably overlooked them before not only because of their small size and camouflage, but because they are often perfectly still, lying in wait for a fly, spider, bee, or even butterfly to land nearby. They can ambush prey much larger than themselves. They grab them with their spiny legs and inject an immobilizing venom. I now wonder if the other bugs I see on my orange and yellow flowers will soon be jagged ambush bug prey. Or maybe some of these are what's left of other bugs once the jagged ambush bugs have eaten the juicy parts. I haven't yet caught them in the act of catching prey, but I have seen them mating. One of the benefits of not using pesticides, even organic ones, is that predatory insects like this can thrive and control pests like aphids and caterpillars. Yes, they might take out a few bees and butterflies too, but that's how nature works. And even the most benign pesticides can also kill bees and butterflies, so I rarely use them. Of course, an added benefit of a biodiverse garden is that there are lots of opportunities for macro photography and learning. <laughs>